Hey you guys, it is 7.26 p.m. on Saturday, January 18th, 2020. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some new things that I got today, including a brand new pair of glasses. I got the Gwen Stefani glasses here. Um, let's see here, it is the GX by Gwen Stefani, and it just says designed in the USA. And it's got the glasses number on it, but uh, this is what they look like on me. Uh, they're like, I think they're gray or, I think they're gray or clear, one of the two. Like, they look clear right here, but they're gray up here. This is what they look like inside. This is the pair I could not wait to get because uh, I wear glasses every single day and I want to be comfortable, so I figured... They may as well be the perfect size. Hold on, I'm gonna grab something to review as well. Sorry about that. Okay. Now, I uh, know this video is supposed to be just about unboxing and opening things that my sister just gave me from, uh, what do you call it, pennies. But I also wanted to give a review on this pretty vulgar concealer. I'm actually wearing it today and I know, I'm sorry about the mess the eyeliner, I'm sorry, and the mascara, but it does not look like it's creasing hardly at all, like most of them do. Uh, it has a small, like a very light scent to it, and it's in the color 60, I think that's 60 degrees or 60 little white lies, and it's good for 12 months. It's like the perfect match for my skin tone right now. Uh, I wear my Fenty Beauty um, Longwear Foundation, as I call it. I'm not going to dig that out. Uh, I got two new headbands. My sister got me a silver one and a gold one. I actually thought they were both the same color. But, uh, look here. Gold and silver. She would have found a black one. That would have been great, too, because I like to wear black a lot, too. Um, these were by Karina. French Couture, and they were $4.99, but they were originally $8, so I'm so happy she got them for me. She got me a little hand lotion. It's called uh, Apple Sugar. This one is actually going to go in my purse because I have noticed that since winter time is getting worse and worse by the day, my skin has been drying out like crazy. It must be a Christmas scent because uh, it smells Christmassy. Of course, there's like a penguin in Christmas gear on it, and it's a dollar thirty-nine. So that's not that bad. And look how big the bottle is. It's not like real big, but it is perfect enough for my purse. So it will be going in my purse. Now I got one of these totally pampered makeup removing cloths and uh, bath set. Let's see here. Kind of, the box is kind of squashed, but I don't really care. I don't really care just that I just ripped it either. I just, I'm going to open it anyways. Okay. New loofah, which I actually needed. Thank you, sissy. A new headband. Or a headband, but a new, uh, you know, shower cap. Looks like two new makeup removing cloths. So cute. Got two of them. And I have no idea what these are for. Oh, this must be like a headband or something. I have no idea. I've never seen it before. I'll have to look at the instructions or something if they got any. I do want to show you guys my other glasses before I forget. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a pair. Yeah, I got... That's not it. I got two pairs right here, but this one is not a brand new set. This one is uh, the oldest set I have next to my other ones. So basically, I'm doing a whole glasses collection right now. Um, I got a bunch of them. And somewhere around this house, I have more. I have no idea where. I have no idea 
which ones they are because I have had at least seven or eight pairs of glasses disappear over the years. I meant, is this it? Yep, that's it, okay. Let me put my keyring back. I thought it was uh, in my purse. I must have just been thinking of something else. Oh yeah, also, my sister gave me this cool little, um, not little, but this cool coach glasses case. Um, I have coach sunglasses somewhere. I, I have no idea what this is, but she told me just to keep it with it, I guess, so I'm just going to leave them in there. Okay, now, you already seen my Gwen Stefani glasses. I uh, love these because they're huge. And they almost fit my face perfectly. Now, uh, let's see here. You probably have already saw these, my Ray-Bans. I like my Ray-Ban ones as well. They're brand new prescription as well. Uh, this is what they look like on the inside. And, uh... I'm gonna start with this pair right here. This isn't like this is the oldest set I have, but the oldest set I actually use is uh hold on a minute, let me try to pull this off. These are by candies and I still like these. I just wish that they had my prescription in them now. Um I do like the fact that these have a little sunglass cover. We bought this at Sam's Club and I told my mom I wanted to get the lenses, you know, replaced in these so I could have new lenses in them. And somewhere around here I have a pair of Harley glasses, I think, but I think I gave those to my mom already. This is what they look like on the inside. They're really nothing special. I just really like them. I just like, uh, think they would be cool for like summertime so you don't feel the glasses on your face. Um, sometimes I wish I would have sprung for contact lenses. I just keep the, uh, sunglass part over here and I keep them in their little case that says candies on them. I'm pretty sure they still have that style out. Uh, you've already seen my guest glasses in many videos. I love this style. I can still wear them almost. Uh, it's just the right eye. I need to get it replaced and uh, look. This is what they look like on the inside. I love this guest logo right here. I think that's so pretty. Uh, those were only $80 when I bought them. I loved that style. Uh, and in here, I have another new pair with an updated prescription in it. So I got three pairs this month. And these are really just a no-name brand one. I just wanted plain black glasses for, like, sitting around the house. Like, uh, or... If I'm not feeling like wearing glasses one day that, you know, turn dark, because these transition and so do my Ray-Bans. I just wanted to have a regular pair because uh, I like the new glasses and I like to be able to see clearly. Um, but I also sometimes don't want the glasses to dim on me, if that makes sense. Like when I'm playing a video game, and I know this is not going to make any sense. Sometimes it does get too bright and it'll dim on me and I, and I can't see what I'm doing. and That's kind of irritating. But these two um, are going to be my two favorite pairs until I get prescriptions in the other ones. And uh, I have another review to give, come to think of it. Let's see here. Oh, wrong. I'm actually going to switch these into the other case here because I don't want to keep thinking that I put both of my brand new pairs in their brand new case. I've had this case since uh, I was in 8th grade, so this thing survived uh, South Carolina with me. And uh, if you have not watched the video on that, I'm not going to go into detail on that here because it still hurts. Um... Let's see. I was going to give a review on this little shield. It's perfectly clear eyeglass lens cleaner. 
uh, clean, yeah, cleaner effective that says it effectively cleans all glass, all eyeglasses, lens types without streaking. And I got this as a free sample from Walmart, and my mom got one too. And uh, it does work great. So when I run out of this, I will definitely be buying a new bottle of it. Let's see here. And it just smells like Windex. Uh, so basically, I think it's Windex in a small bottle. So, uh, yeah. But I'm still going to keep it because, you know, free is free. I'm going to give this lotion a try because my feet are actually very dry. And uh, as somebody from South Carolina living up here where the air is more dry, your skin dries out more. I meant to clarify that with my other video. Um, when I was doing my hair yesterday, I had to redo my hair because a giant gob of it came out and it kind of uh, made me very mad. Let's just put it that way. I was not silent. I was not happy. I was not using appropriate language when I found out my hair was messed up. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. And um, I had somebody tell me it was my shampoo. Well, I got news for you. I would have been bald a long time ago because my shampoo, I've been using Suave since I was about eight years old. This is my favorite one right here and my favorite conditioner. These brand new bottles. It could have been the one I recently tried. I'm going to show you. Tresemme. I know the bottles are dirty, but I have uh, only used this like maybe twice in total, so I have to give it more of a you know whirl than what I'm thinking right now. So far, my thoughts on it are not good for my hair, but uh sorry not good but it's just because my hair fell out suddenly after I used it again it was like that's weird um also I wanted to show you something else I got it's not really anything special it is the Equate Beauty non acetone nail polish remover with vitamin E and pen penthenol penthenol for artificial and natural nails and uh, this was only like 98 cents, uh, so that rounded up to about a dollar five with tax. And it's six fluid ounces. And uh, I don't like the smell of lacquer either, so Ugh. it still smells very bad, but it does not smell like normal nail polish. Um, I'm allergic to acetone as well, so the bottles that I have have to be given away or thrown away. But yeah, that's it. I can't believe she got me a gold one and a silver one. I don't even wear silver that often. But I might try it. You never know. I mean, I might color coordinate to my black. But you can wear silver or gold with black. And I'm always wearing black, so, you know, it's kind of hard to figure out what you're going to wear when you always wear the same color. And I sometimes wear pink, too. I like pink, too. Oh, yeah. Also, um, I had to get up to get this, so give me one second. I will be right back. If I don't hit the camera, I'll try not to. step back around here if I can without hitting the camera again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Apparently my dad didn't really want the newer phone, so what I'm going to do is uh, set this up as like a recording thing. When everyone goes to bed tonight, I'm going to sneak downstairs and um, 
type in the code that it sends to my mom's phone for the iTunes account to put it on here. But right now I'm going to set up Face ID because I'm sick and tired of having to enter the passcode. Because I already have my phone right here. This is mine as a primary phone. Um, so we, while I'm doing this, not only am I going to turn on dark mode if I can, Now we're gonna find out where the hell dark mode is. Okay, so you see right here? I like that. It's better on my eyes. Now we're going to set up face ID and passcode. So we're gonna go into the passcode. We're going to do Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure, this is a handy feature if you have um, issues unlocking your iPhone. You see that where it says require attention for face ID? You want to make sure that is off because it is so much easier. I have no idea what the attention aware features are, but I guess I will. Let's go ahead and turn that off too. Right now. Alright. Let's get this connected to the internet. And we're gonna set it up with my um what do you call it? Sick my uh damn it, I can't think straight. My iTunes account, I guess you can say my iCloud account. So I gotta look in my iCloud settings and see which one it is. Okay, so. Alright. I'm gonna type in my email. And then tonight I will get into my mom's phone and use hers to download music and apps. I only have this on for, uh, you know, protecting my phone. Like, you know, if I lose it, I can find it myself. And who knows, one day this might actually become my phone. Okay, now it just sent me a code. Let me go here. Let's see, it says seven Sorry about that. Now it just says signing into iCloud. Uh, so yeah. It also has this black case with it, which I've got two other cases other than my pink one here. So yeah, we're gonna see what I can do. Enter iPhone passcode. Um, I guess this just became, you know, showing stuff and also glasses collection and setting up iPhone. All right now we're going to turn a few things off because I don't want everything on here. Like I don't need all my calendar alerts, my reminders, my Safari stuff, news. Stocks, home, health, wallet. I'm going to keep Game Center on because uh, obviously I'm going to download games onto this too. I'm going to make sure that Find My iPhone is on and once it loads here, I'm going to.
Okay, where is my find my iPhone option on here? It's not on here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, now. All right, now in iCloud settings that this is helpful for most people who lose their phones a lot, there is a option where you turn it on and it will send the last known location to someone. No, yeah. Okay, it says right here, send last location. And it says automatically send the location of this iPhone to Apple when the battery is critically low. So when it gets down to 1%, it will actually go ahead and send a notification to Apple. This way, if you lose it, you can call them or something like that. Um, it's got to do a few other things on here real quick, like the keyboards, I want to add, I want to turn off predictive because I hate that shit, enable dictation, sorry for my language by the way. See here. Uh, let me do something else in general. The general settings, I mean, keyboard, text replacements. Oh my gosh, you'd think those would be on by now. I ain't worried about it. I guess I'll fix it later if I do worry about it. Let's see here. I need to find the thing where you can turn on your Turn on, or turn on how long your screen stays on. I forget where that's at. But then again, they did rearrange everything on the phone. So, maybe it's in Control Center? No, no, that's not it. Sound and haptics. I need to find auto lock. I guess. There we go. Display and brightness. Okay. I figured out it was in brightness. So it says auto lock after five minutes. Um, raise to wake on, I'm going to do a few other things here real quick while I'm thinking about them, like the keyboard things are going to drive me crazy until I can figure out what to do. right now. Check spelling, enable cap locks. Alright, I think that's everything I want to do other than link it to an iTunes account and uh,
you know, make it officially my own. There are some things that I am going to delete, though, like, I don't need the whole map, I don't need the iBooks because I don't read enough, I don't need the news because it's all bullshit, <laughs> I don't need email because if I need to email that bad I can just go into Safari and type in my email because I have multiple ones, don't need files, tips, shortcuts, or anything else like that. I'm going to keep podcasts though because I actually want to listen to podcasts. For now, that's it, I guess. I don't need watch either because I don't have an Apple Watch anymore. Mine got stolen a long time ago. Um, let's see. Hold on! I guess I better go because somebody's calling for me. It is now 7.52 p.m. I don't know what time this is going to upload. Thank you for watching. Bye.